Hello Booktube. For the second tag I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions tag. Um, the tag was created originally by the Book Archer, and I saw this on a Bookish's, or Brian of Bookish's channel, and I also watched an earlier version on Steve Donahue's channel from about four years ago. So I will link uh, Bookish down below since this tag is old. So let's get to the prompts. Uh, prompt number one, a popular book series you didn't like. Um, Harry Potter, I bailed on uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone and I bailed on Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I'm also not a huge fan of the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, another popular book I don't like. So, yeah, I'm going to go with those two. Uh, two, a popular book series you love that everybody, everyone seems to hate. Wouldn't that be an unpopular book or series you like that everyone else does not like? Hmm? Anyway, in this case, I would go with, um... That's a tough one. I'm going to go with maybe Radiance by Catherine and Valenti because I don't think um, it has gotten a, that much press. Um, hmm. This one's a tough one. Oh, Clark Ashton Smith. Um, he's really sort of the third, well, or his short fiction because he's not as um, popular as a H.P. Lovecraft or um, Robert E. Howard. Oh, sorry about flubbing this one. I did not really think much about this one. Um, three, a love triangle where the main character ended up with someone you didn't want them to. Um, Naruto Uzumaki should have ended up with Sasuke Uchiha rather than Naruto and Hinata, or Sasuke and Sakura. Because, <laughs> I mean, the, the strongest emotional resonance is between the, the Naruto and Sasuke, with Hinata and Sakura really being the socially acceptable yeah, relationships. Um, so I would go with that one. Uh, number four. A popular book genre you hardly ever reach for. Uh, romance. I've tried some romance with them. Uh, the Summer Fling book thing in August. But I didn't really get on with either of the two romances I read or tried to read. I think I bailed pretty hard on both. I might give it another shot, but I don't know. And also self-help books. Oh, I never reach for self-help books. Number five, a popular beloved character you do not like. Brand from the tarot sequence by Katie Edwards. I just, I cannot stand that man. He's, I think my problem is, is that he takes out the oxygen he pretty much he's like he sells the show it's basically why exactly is room there because i mean it's you know, brand is far more competent in everything than rune is so it's inordinately frustrating to read that so it would be brand i do not like brand at all um Six, a popular author you just can't get into. Hmm. Brandon Sanderson. <laughs> just, I cannot get into his work. I, in addition to 
trying two times to read um, The Way of Kings. I've also tried his novel Steelheart, which is a young adult superhero uh, take, send up really, that I haven't gotten into. So I think definitely would say um, Brandon Sanderson um, is one I have not gotten into. Also, probably Jim Butcher. I think I probably will find him difficult to get into, too. Um, number seven. A popular book trope you are tired of seeing, which probably should be more properly called archetype rather than trope. Archetype. Um, in this case, I would go with either the hyper-competent sidekick who really beggars the question why exactly the protagonist is who the protagonist. Another um, archetype I'm not terribly fond of is the passive hero. I would like, like my a bit more active. And also probably um, I would like to see variation in the standard shonen hero. I've kind of gotten into reading um, shonen manga again lately, and that's um, something I'm noticing is a lot of shonen protagonists are very, very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, number eight, a popular series that you have no interest in reading. Um, Twilight, uh, oh. The Hunger Games, not really interested in any of those. Harry Potter after trying it. Um, probably Birds of uh, Stormlight Archives since I failed like, twice on that one already. I probably really shouldn't bother. Um, any number of books and series I really have no interest in. Uh, number nine, the book is always better than the movie. Which film TV adaptation do you prefer more than the book? Uh, the Watchmen movie compared to the comic book. Um, I know the, well, I guess that one's um, beloved. I mean, it is seminal in modern comics. But I think while the main plot is really, really good, there is this um, side plot of um, a pulp story that one of the uh, relatively minor characters reading throughout the book that just doesn't work. I Yeah, just I think the story would have been much better without it. Also, of course, Ozymandias' plan is somewhat laughable in the book, in the comic, but works wonderfully in the movie. So I definitely would say Watchmen film is far better than the movie. I mean, wait. The film is far better than the comic book. Sorry about that. Also, I think you could probably make the case that um, Sin City, at least the first one, is much better than the comics that inspired it. Although the second movie uh, sucks. So, yeah. And uh, anyone else? But I think that would be it. So that was the um, unpopular opinions tag. Um, if you would like to do this tag, uh, consider yourselves tagged. And maybe, maybe it's just time for a new unpopular opinions tag to be made. So we'll see. So anyway, BookTube, that was the all of the tags I've got for today. Um, I should have some new tags up on Tuesday. And obviously tomorrow is Friday, so we will have weekly reads. So until tomorrow, thank you, BookTube. Have a great afternoon, and please stay safe.